Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna actually do a Tri Hack Me machine boot to root called Anon Force. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And it encourages me to do more videos like this and so much more, right? Uh, you know, obviously join my Thirsty Thursday podcasts. I do them every Thursday evening at 7 p.m. EST. And if you wanna learn more about penetration testing, you can go ahead and check out my course that I have in the link in the description. So let's get into this, shall we? So a non-force, so what is this? Let me make this a little larger for us to see. And it's a boot to root machine for fit and besides Guatemala CTF, okay? So I'm guessing it's just pretty much a simple Linux box and we have, to, we have to read user and root txt. So we pretty much have to get two of these files or two of the flags. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's just start with our basic enumeration. Let's just do nmap scan. And we can just do, let's just do this, paste this. And we're gonna go ahead and put this into an output of a non force. Okay, let's see what's cooking. Let's see what we got out here. And I like to do this, we do a default scripting scan, a service scan, and I like to put my output into a file just in case I forget what ports are open, whatever's open, and I, all I have to do now, say for example, I can do an ls and my file is there. So now I can cat a non, and let's see what's cooking in here. All right, so there's a lot of stuff, let's see. So we have port 21 FTP, so we have FTP VSFTPD 3.0.0, uh, 3.0.3. All right, let's see what else is cooking. Connect to, this is an IPv6. Log in to FTP. And let's move this over. Let's see if we can move this over just a little bit so we can get more real estate. And okay, so this gives us anonymous FTP allowed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this just so I have that in my notes. Let's go ahead and open up a notepad. And let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and uh, delete that. And this is just anonymous login. So login for FTP. Just trying to take some notes as we go. Okay, so anonymous is allowed. So we'll let's keep going. So we can see some of the file structure here, bin, boot, dev, etc, home, etc. So, oh, look at this, not read. So we have a writable directory there. We'll see what's going on there later. All right, so let's just start out with our FTP. So let's just do FTP. And then let me go ahead and get the IP address. And let's go ahead and paste that in here. And let's go ahead and log in as anonymous, okay? and then hit enter, enter, and then let's go ahead and make this larger. And can we make that? Okay, so let's do an LS here. We can see here pretty much what we saw in the scan. We can see all the directory listing. So let's see what go what looks juicy here. Let's go ahead and just CD to home. And let's go ahead and do an LS. And we have this directory here for this user. Let's go ahead and copy and do an ls. All right, so we have the user, so let's go ahead and cat user.txt, or let's get user.txt. So we're gonna pull that down, and I wanna come over here and do an ls, and now we have a user.txt on the right-hand side over here. And let's just go ahead and cat user.txt out. And then here is the user flag. So that was pretty simple. So let's go ahead and come over here and get the user flag cooking. So that was pretty easy. Let's wait till that goes. And hopefully it works. Come on, submit. All right, there we go, woohoo. All right, so let's keep going now. So now we have to just have to go ahead and get root. So let's go back to our uh, terminal here. So let's go ahead and cd dot dot really quick. And let's go ahead and cd dot dot again. We can cd to home. And we had that not read. So let's go ahead and cd into that. I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and cd into that. 
All right, so we have two files here, backup.pgp uh, and private a uh, private key, private.sac. So let's just go ahead and just do an mget asterisk. So we're gonna pull down everything and yes, and yes. And let's come back over here and do an ls and we have everything over here now, okay? So we should be good. Now let's go ahead, and I, I don't think we have to be on here anymore. So we can say goodbye, and we, now we have these two files. And we, are, you know, we have three files. So if you guys aren't familiar, we, what, we, what we can do is go out to the internet, go ahead and do some searching on PGP, and let's just go ahead and cat it out. So we can back up. Obviously, this is gibberish, so it's encrypted. So it has an encryption uh, on it, so we have to decrypt that. So let's go ahead and cat the private. So we have a PGP private key block. So private key right here. So what we wanna do is try to crack or try to decrypt this backup PGP, okay? So I have some notes here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So what we can do is just do PGP, PGP to, um, PGP AD, or a, I think we can just do PGP GPG to John. Okay, so now we're gonna do the private key because this is what we wanna, and then we wanna put this out into a hash. Okay, so pretty much just like that, or we can just put, we can actually, so I remember, I wanna make this private hash. Okay, so that looks right to me. I just wanna make sure everything looks good. Boom. Okay, so now we can ls. Now we have this private hash right here. So now what we're gonna do is import this, right? So we can just do, uh, what is it? Uh, GP, who's calling me? Uh, I don't know who that is. Import, okay? We can do import and then private key dot, but now we have a password here, right? So we don't know the password. So we need to decrypt this first, right? So now let's go ahead and cancel this. Uh, let's go ahead and tab, tab, cancel. Of course, we need to decrypt this first. All right, so now let's go ahead and just do John. And we want uh, the private key, uh, private hash, right? I think I named the private hash. And then we want to do this to the word list of rocku.txt. So we can do word list equals, um, let me make sure uh, that's no one important right now. And let me go ahead and I'm just looking at my team just to make sure work is not hollering at me. Uh, share word list rocku.txt. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack that. So right now we just cracked that and it's right here, Xbox 360. So I wanna go ahead and copy this and put this into our notes. Okay, whoops. Password, and then I wanna go ahead and paste the Xbox 360, okay? So now we can go ahead and import this and then paste that there, and we should be good to go, okay? So now we imported the secret key, okay? So now what we can do is just go ahead and let's go, let's try to decrypt it. Let's do decrypt. Uh, decrypt decrypt and then what we're going to decrypt is the backup file okay and then paste that here and what we just did we just decrypted this and it has a whole bunch of let's move this over a little bit uh why is oh, come on all right there we go so now let's come all the way back down to the bottom all right so what we have here is the decryption, so we have root and we have a hash here, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy root's hash right here. Let's go ahead and throw that into our notes, okay? Just so I have it, okay? So let me go ahead and go back. So we should be good there. And now, since we have this, I think we should be done, right? We just have to crack this and get the password and try to SSH into uh, with root. So let's go ahead and just try to crack this really quick. Let's go ahead and copy this. 
And let's just go ahead and make a file called nano. We can make it, um, uh, I'll just put root hash. Okay. And then paste that there. And then we can just do nano or cat um, root hash. And then here goes the root hash right here, right? So now what we can try to do is try to crack this with John. We can just use John, that's fine fine for me. So let's do John root hash. And then we're gonna go ahead and point this word list to same word list, rocky.txt and see if we can crack it. And we'll give this a minute and here we go. So we just cracked that password. It's right here. So I wanna make a note of that root password. All right, so now what we can try to do is just SSH. Let me make this, uh, can't see with my um, SSH. And now let me go ahead and come back to Firefox and come to the IP address, okay? And then let's go ahead and do root, all right? And then yes. And then the password that we just cracked. And let's pray to God it worked. Okay, so we are root.txt, I mean we are root, right? We are root, so cat root.txt, and we just compromised this machine. So let's go ahead and copy this and put it into our root flag. And voila, we have just completed this Anon Force. I really thought that was cool, a cool machine. It's, it's super simple, but it gives you some tactics to learn how to decrypt, how to you know crack a password and all that stuff. So hopefully you found this informative. Let me know what you think about this machine, if you did it yourself in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.